Hi lovelies, my name is Amanda Louise and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have done this makeup look using mostly first impressions. If you'd like to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. Let's jump in. So I'm going to start off with my foundation, of course. I've already moisturized and put primer on my face and my lids. So I'm going to jump straight into foundation. This isn't a new foundation. This is one I use quite a lot. But the first impression I'm doing for this part is on these really cute brushes. These are the Nude by Nature oval brushes, the oval brush set. And they're meant to be complexion perfecting. So yeah, let's have a look. So this is a really cute box they come in. Nice rose gold detailing with the name. And then look how cute they are inside. <laughs> they look absolutely gorgeous. So they don't have names on them, but I'm going to use this big one. This is the biggest one of the set. So I'm just going to pump directly onto the brush and then I'm just going to buff in. It doesn't take a lot of product in, but I found that it really buffs it in so much that it's a really light coverage. So I might just go in with a little bit more, but I'm first going to spray it with my MAC Fix A Plus just to see if that helps out. Super fluffy. I really like how soft they are. See how the other ones are, but I really do like this. It does blend it in really nicely, especially around my nose and my forehead where I've got a, you know, my skin is a bit drier. It doesn't seem to stick to those areas as much. So I think it's done a good job, but it definitely takes away a little bit of the coverage of the makeup. So that's probably the only downfall I have, but these would be great for every day. Okay, I'm next going to go in with concealer. And again, this is a concealer that I use all the time. I've got already stocked up about three or four in my cabinet. So um, it's definitely a favorite. This is the Wake Me Up Concealer by Rimmel. And this is the shade Ivory. I wish they'd come out with some more shades. I've only got three and I have all of them and they're really not that different in color. So it's sort of annoying, but I'm going to grab this one and apply it with these super cute little beauty blenders. Well, not beauty blenders, makeup blenders. These are from Kmart from Beauty Care Co. I'm guessing it's their own brand. Yeah, Kmart Australia. So these, I saw these, they were I think $3 and I just thought that was so super cute. So let's give them a go. Definitely nice and squishy, but I just can't get over how small they are. Okay, so I've sprayed it with my Fix Plus as I normally would. Oh my god, it's so tiny. It takes up quite a lot of the product. It's definitely easier to get into those little corners around your eyes. But look how much product that's taken up. Which is a little bit disappointing because they're super cute. But then again, it's like the brushes. It leaves your skin looking quite natural because it takes away a little bit of the coverage. But of course, that's not what you want like all the time. So I'm a little on the fence about these, but I'll keep giving them a go and I'll wash them out every time I think, and we'll see what happens with them. Okay, so the next product I'm trying out today is one I got in my mail time with e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder in sheer. So I'm gonna use it to set my under eyes and I'm gonna use the other little um, blender sponge I have from K the Kmart range um, and we'll see how it goes. I don't have very high hopes for this but fingers crossed that it like exceeds my expectations. <laughs> it's a really cute little compact. Um, I feel as though there's not a lot of product in here so you sort of spill it out and then go from there. So I'm gonna see if there's even enough product coming out. I might actually tip it out into the lid it might be a little bit easier. No, I'm really not getting enough product, which is disappointing. Yeah, it's hardly going on. And it's super sparkly. 
<gasps> it's meant to be sheer. I don't like this product. <laughs> Maybe if I tapped all of it out onto a lid and then packed it on, it would be better. But I don't like that it's shiny and it's hard to get out and really there's not a lot in there as you can see. So even if I did tap out the amount I'd use to set my under eyes, I don't think I'd have any product left. So bad first impression I think. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my cheeks. This is another e.l.f. product, but I've got really high hopes for this one because I love one of their other duos, the Blush and Bronzing Powdered Duo in St. Lucia. This one is Fiji. So it's meant to be matte contouring this one. So fingers crossed it's truly matte. Really nice, simple packaging. I love this packaging. Ooh, okay, definitely matte shades. Very similar to the St. Lucia. Um, this brown's maybe got a little bit more orange in it, but we'll see how it goes on the skin. I'm going to use the medium size uh, Nude by Nature Oval Brush for this bronzing application. So we'll see how this goes with bronzer as well. I quite like it though. This is really nice. It's a more subtle version of the St. Lucia bronzer, which is really shimmery. And this one just goes on a lot more subtly, which is really nice. It's good to be able to build a bronzer, especially for a contour shade. I love being able to build it. And of course, with pale skin like mine, you don't want something that goes on too harsh to start off with. And this brush puts it on really nicely. I think I'm converting to these brushes, to be honest. <laughs> Really, really nice for blending these brushes. Really, really, really nice. Yeah, I'm super happy with both the brush and the bronzer itself. Tick of approval for both on this one. Okay, I'm gonna use the tiny little Nude by Nature brush, which almost looks like a toothbrush. It's about that size, but I'm not gonna use it as a toothbrush, of course. I'm gonna use it with my Jaclyn Hill and Becca highlighter. And we're going to pop it on with that and see how it goes. It really picks up a lot of pigment, these brushes. They're really good quality. Oh, that goes on so nicely. It really blends so nicely. That is so pretty. Yeah, I'm in love with these brushes. They're definitely going to be an absolute staple in my collection. And I'm going to reach for them all the time. Super happy with these ones. All right, the last first impression. You might remember I bought four of these e.l.f. blending brushes and I haven't used any of them yet. So I'm gonna do a super standard eye look that I do, um, sort of like a combination of one of my Z palette shades, which is this one here, Mac Omega. And then I've also got this Napoleon um, single shadow. It's a color disc in Green Living. Um, I'm quite impressed with these. They definitely don't blend as well as some of my other brushes and I definitely take it away with me if I was going away for the weekend or something like that and just needed a couple in my bag. So definitely worth the price to have a few in your collection. Quite impressed with these. They could be a little bit better but for the price, so good. So this is the finished look. I've added some mascara and a lip colour, both staple products so definitely not worthy of a first impression uh, i'm so in love with these nude by nature oval brushes definitely so glad i got these ones these are my favorite first impression from this video and they'll be used every day at least one of them will be used every day the way it puts on the highlighter and the bronzer especially totally in love with that so they're also gorgeous black and rose gold such a good combination and oh so happy with these ones and the other one i'm completely in love with is the duo by elf it's a really good contour sort of base shade so totally in love with that one as well so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy first impression videos. It was really fun to film and I'd been wanting to um, try out these products for ages. I had them like sitting in a corner of my room <laughs> ready to film with them. So I'm super excited. I can add them to my collection now and use them on an everyday basis. 
and hopefully fall in love with some of them even more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.